Free your spirit, free your mind. Let your soul hear it, your light will shine. Pastor A.B. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Good morning, good morning. This is Ava E. Nichols, amen, with the Body of Christ Outreach Ministry. It's such a blessing and an honor to come before you, amen, this great, beautiful Sunday morning, amen. We just thank God for you. We appreciate you, amen. We just thank the Lord for what he's doing in our life. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you today, God. We glorify your name, dear Jesus. We thank you for your anointing, Father God. We thank you for your presence. We just love you so much for waking us up this morning, letting us see another day, dear God. We thank you, dear God, that you sent your only begotten son, hallelujah, oh God, to save us, to deliver us, to set us free, glory be to God. Oh God, that he came as a living sacrifice for us, Father God, for our redemption, Father God. We thank you for that, God. We love you so much. We just praise your name. Jesus, we rejoice in you today. We just glorify your name, dear God. Go before me this morning, Father God. Touch the listeners, God. All those that are going through, Father God, I ask you to touch them by your spirit. Touch them right now. Rebuke oppression, depression, rejection, Father God. Touch them right where they are, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you. We glorify you. We thank you, dear God. In Jesus' name, we pray amen and amen. Amen. We just thank God, amen, for what he's doing, amen, with the body of Christ outreach ministry, amen. We just thank God for you, amen. We thank God for all of your you listening, amen. We just give you, give God praise for you, amen. We're going to minister to you quickly, amen, about keep the joy of the Lord. Keep the joy of the Lord. Keep the joy of the Lord, regardless of what you're going through. Keep on shouting. Keep on praising Jesus. Keep that joy that God has given you. Amen. Amen. The definition of joy is gladness. We need to be glad. Amen. We need to keep our heads up. Amen. We need to keep looking up. Praise God. Amen. Don't look down. Amen. We need to praise God regardless of what we face and whatever we're looking, going through. Amen. Do not be moved by what you see. Keep the joy of the Lord. See, I'm not talking about the joy that alcohol can give you, that counterfeit joy, that temporal joy. But I'm talking about that joy that only God can give you that's everlasting, that's forevermore. Amen. Praise God. Let's go to Psalms 100, 1 and 2. Psalms 100, 1 and 2. And it reads, and this is a familiar scripture. It says, make a joyful noise, amen, to the Lord, all ye lands. He's talking to everybody. And then in verse 2, it says, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his praise, presence with singing. We need to shout and praise Jesus, amen. Sometimes people think I'm strange, but, you know, I've got that joy. I mean, I, sometimes I may be going through some things, but, amen, I keep that joy of the Lord. I start praising God, amen, and, and singing a new song to God, amen, and, and amen, and just take it off, take all my problems away, amen. So I start thinking about the goodness of God and, and making a joyful noise to God, amen. Lift up your hands and just praise him. Just shout, just glorify him. Do even a dance, amen. Let that praise is continually to be in your mouth. And in Psalms 101 and 2, it says, make a joyful noise, make a joyful noise to the Lord. 
So you can just make a joyful noise to the Lord, and the devil has to flee, amen, when you start doing that. And and just serve the Lord with gladness. You know, there's so many saints that, that you can't even tell they saved. They so looking all mad and, and, and mad and mean and everything. You don't even want to say anything to them. You, I mean, my goodness, how do we think we're going to win people to Christ when we're looking all mad and sad and mean, amen? Let, let the joy of the Lord be shown in your life. So be happy, amen. Hold your head up and just praise Jesus because this is a good time for the believers, amen. Amen. If you just tuned in, we, we're ministering to you about keep the joy of the Lord. Glory be to God. Keep the joy of the Lord. Of the Lord. I'm happy about what Jesus has done for me. I'm happy about my salvation. Glory be to God. And you need to be happy too. Amen. Don't let the devil try to come up against you. Amen. We're trying to make you depressed and, and feeling like nobody care about you. The devil is a liar. See, when you start praising Jesus and start just glorifying his name and, and think about what he's brought you out of, how he kept you from death and when you was not saved, when you was in those clubs and everything and, 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 and in, in sin and how God, he set you free and kept you alive through all that mess. That's something to shout about, amen. Let's go to Habakkuk 3 and 17 and 18. 3 Habakkuk, Habakkuk, I may not be pronouncing it right, Habakkuk 3, chapter 3, 17 and 18. 3, 17, and 18 in, in um, Habakkuk. It says, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall re yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the folds, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Amen. See, regardless of what it may look like, you may have a fit, a negative sign in your bank account. They may be trying to take your house over, but man can't do nothing. Amen. Because God, he created everything. He owns the earth and the fullness thereof. He said, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. If you just thank God for your salvation, that's enough to shout about. Just know that you have everlasting life. Know that you, amen, that you, when you accept Christ as your personal Savior, you have everlasting life. So that right there is enough to shout about, to, to have joy, to rejoice in the Lord about, amen, just to think about the, the God of your salvation, amen. God is so good. Let's go to Luke 24 and 52. And this is talking about the believers, amen. Luke 24 and 52. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. Uh, Luke 24 and 52. We're, if you just tuned in, we're talking about keeping the joy of the Lord. And they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. This was after Jesus was, uh, he came back, amen. When he died and, and, and he was not in the tomb, amen, he came back and was speaking to the disciples. And uh, we'll go up a little bit. It says, and in 50, it says, he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them he to the disciples. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried on up to heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. See, and, and, and then it says in 53, it says, and we're continually in the temple praising and blessing God. See, we need to keep on blessing him. Keep on blessing him. Know that, amen, they knew Jesus, amen, had, had ascended on up to heaven, that he had already, praised God, carried all their griefs and all their sorrows, amen. And they continually uh, in the temple, they was praising and blessing God, Amen. So we just we just thank God for for the joy of the Lord is truly your strength. The joy of the Lord is truly your strength, Amen. Let's go to John sixteen and twenty four. John sixteen and twenty four. I just praise the Lord, Hallelujah. And it says John sixteen and twenty four. Until now have you asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Now you can even ask God for, for joy to be full. Amen. 
If you're struggling with something, just ask him. Just ask him. He said, until now, have you asked nothing in my name? Ask, and you shall receive. All you have to do is ask him, and he'll give it to you. He'll give you the joy, and he'll, he'll give you that joy, and he'll fill you up with his joy if you ask him. If you just ask him for joy, amen? Amen. See, the enemy, he likes to attack you, to make you look at your problems, to look at your situation. Oh, that's not going to work for you. You'll look at your children, look at your husband, look at your wife. Look at your finances. See, he wants you to be depressed. He wants you to be not rejoicing in God. See, you, what you do, you praise God and start rejoicing and singing a new song. Lift your hands up. Praise God and see what God will do for you. See how your, that, that thing will go away from you that the enemy is trying to attack you with. Hallelujah. Because we serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. Amen. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, do it today. Amen. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. We thank you. We God, we God bless you and have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless you. Amen. We'd like to thank you for paying attention because in a minute we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor Ava E. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry, we'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. You got any questions or if you need prayer, 702-505-9697 or email Ava Nichols, the number one at yahoo.com. YouTube, Unknown Soldier 8, that's U-N-K-N-O-W-N-S-O-U-L-D-I-E-R, the number 8 on Yahoo. Also, check with PureSoul.biz. Thank you. We love you.